Uh, just a quick video on another couple of ice trains. Uh, I've just refitted this again. It's a ice two zug set from 2000, so it's about 19, 20 years old. Comes in a case like that. I've done a digital fit out in this in the past, but I was never happy with it using the conventional uh, factory installed motor. It just didn't run that good. So came across this guy on this channel, HODCC fan. He's converted a lot of his uh, ice trains to uh, a special motor setup, which I've installed in this set. And this guy's helped me immensely. I just like to say thanks a lot. Absolutely brilliant. The way he's explained it to me, because the instructions with the motor, when you buy the motor, they're all in German and they're not the best instructions to tell you the truth. But that's the motor and it's a coreless maintenance free motor that goes in. You've got to take all the old motor out and the, the pinion gear and you've got to reinstall. There's, there's a new pinion gear there. And you get a little sleeve for it that goes on the shaft. But it's quite a involving process I thought and there's no videos to show it on YouTube how to do it. And you just get a basic set of instructions. Like I say they're all in German. I only know very basic words in German so... And this is to do an analog uh, conversion using the you know the motor. I wanted to go digital, so HLDCC fan helped me. And uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is show a video of how to digitally digitally convert this one, which is the experimental the ice experimental, which is another brilliant set from over 20 years ago. So I'm going to put one of those motors in this and bring that up to uh, the modern standards and get it to run really nice and smooth. And then you can add a digital interface which I've done in the 2000 set, which I'm going to show in a minute. I put a digital interface, interface in, took out all the old motor and put a uh, standard lens DCC chip in. Or you could put sound in at a later date. Well, anyway, I'll... Uh, I'll just show this one running now. Yeah, so I've just do it, done a couple of test runs using this new motor and well impressed. Silky smooth, runs at speed step one, no problem at all. Coreless motor that needs no maintenance. And on an analog set which is Oh, it's 20 years old now actually because it, I think it came out around about 1999 so it's a superb set and I've always wanted it to be uh, digital which I did convert to digital a couple of years ago but I was never happy with it the way it ran it was just just wasn't right so by installing that new motor it's been a bit of a pain to do but it's been well worth it You can, it's just 100% smooth, it's beautiful, beautiful, silky smooth motor in that now, so more than happy with this now. So the next stage is to, which I said in the past, I'm going to put ESU lighting in the coaches 